<laughs> Welcome to your 2022 weekly ticket. Well, the start of 2022 seems to be all about Tom Holland. Spider-Man No Way Home only needed one weekend to become the highest grossing movie of 2021, and it's already swung into the top 10 highest grossing films of all time in domestic earnings. February sees Holland taking on a new franchise, Uncharted, an adaptation of the treasure hunting adventure video game. Uncharted has a younger version of Nathan Drake than the video games, pitting Holland opposite Mark Wahlberg's seasoned fortune hunter, Sully. Speaking with Total Film, Holland reveals that his youthful casting came about because he pitched Sony on a young James Bond. I had a meeting after or during Spider-Man Far From Home with Sony to pitch this idea of a young Bond film that I'd come up with. It was the origin story of James Bond. It didn't really make sense. It didn't work. It was the dream of a young kid and I don't think the Bond estate were particularly interested. The idea of a young Bond film sparked this idea in turn that you could do a Nathan Drake story as an origin story rather than as an addition to the games. And that opened a conversation. Young Nathan Drake swings into theaters this February. Still no word yet on that next 007 though. Sticking with actor movie pitches, Chris Evans will play Gene Kelly in a film based on his own story idea. The untitled film will follow a boy who works on the MGM lot in 1952 and creates an imaginary friendship with the singing and the the Rain Star. Evans Knives Out director Ryan Johnson will produce, making good on this promise. Yeah, listen, hey Ryan, will, will you hire me again? Are you kidding me, man? Let's do a musical. Hey, don't <laughs> tempt me! <laughs> ah! Kelvin Harrison Jr. is reteaming with Loose director Julius Ona for a biopic on one of the most influential artists of the 20th century, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Basquiat exploded in the 1980s New York City art world at the age of 22, where he was the youngest artist to exhibit at the Whitney Biennial in New York. Jeffrey Wright starred as Basquiat in a 1990s film made by painter Julian Schnabel, but this portrait of the artist titled Samo Lives will be the first film about Basquiat made by a fellow black artist. Do you like scary <laughs> Oh, it's tough. Do you like scary movies? Well, the slasher that broke all the horror movie rules is back for a requel. The fifth installment of Scream brings the heart of the original cast, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette back to Woodsboro. They're matched by a fresh new cast of plucky teen residents led by Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Dylan Minnette, and Jack Quaid. 25 years after the original series of murders in Woodsboro, a new killer emerges in the ghost face mask, and Sidney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. We recently had the Scream legacy actors Campbell, Cox, and Arquette sit down and ask each other questions about the iconic franchise. What excites you most about a new generation of horror fans seeing a new Scream or any Scream for the first time? What's so exciting about it is the Scream oh, is, is new, it's, it's, it's a revitalized scream. It is scary, it's gorier. And I think that people will wanna know what happened in the first scream to see with these characters and how they all tied together. And so then I think we get to start all over again. I love that. The 12 year olds are gonna know who yep. these Us characters are anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What character from any movie or show you've played would most likely survive a scream film? The guy from John's, I'm gonna say for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who I who Probably it would be. Susie Toller from Wild Things. <laughs> <laughs> I think um Monica Keller could there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'd probably say Gordy Boggs, the wrestler from there Ready to Rumble. There you go. Okay, which scream character from the past four movies do you wish had survived to join you in the sequels? Randy. Yeah, Randy. Randy was loved and, and funny and yeah. He was, but I gotta go with my sister Rose. Of course. I mean, <laughs> Tatum, come on. Because she's your sister. Yeah. What yeah. line from Scream is quoted back to you uh, by fans the most? Oh, Sydney. Hello, Sydney. Oh, yes, I bet. You get that all the time. All like, the time, yeah. As a market other two. I get doofy a lot, which <laughs> that was a scary movie. I'm doing not doofy. Get it all the time. Thank you. And thank you again. For the new Scream, the production recreated the killer's house from the first film. How did you react to seeing that on set? Mm. 
a lot of memories flooded back. It was really emotional and it was done such a great job. And there was one of the characters is named Wes. So there was a post of a big sign. I was like, oh, he's right here. And, yeah. and yet he's not. And so it was, it was emotional. Yeah, totally. As a scream, as scream veterans, what advice did you have for the new cast? Nothing. <laughs> they were so professional. I was like, <laughs> they knew what they were I doing. still feel like they're like a little more professional than me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's more professional than you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. I swear. <laughs> it all these, no, I know, but I, I you know, it's you're right true. It's in a true. funny way. <laughs> so they true. probably are more savvy at this point. <laughs> New in theaters this week is Scream and Bell. You may not be able to start over in the real world, but you can start over in the world of you. Belle is the newest film from beloved animator Mobutu Hosoda. It centers on Suzu, a shy high school student living in a rural village in Japan. For years, she's kept to herself, but when she enters a massive virtual world called you, she becomes Belle, her online persona, a gorgeous and globally cherished singer. One day, her performance is interrupted by a monstrous creature. After it's chased away by her fans, Suzu embarks on a quest to uncover the identity of this mysterious quote-unquote beast and to discover her true self. And available to watch at home today is Sing 2 and A Journal for Jordan. This is the entertainment capital of the world. I'll give you three weeks to get this show up and running. In Sing 2, Buster Moon and his friends have played sold out show after sold out show in his local theater. Buster decides it's time to try the big city and must persuade reclusive rock star Clay Calloway to join them for the opening of a new show. The problem is Calloway hasn't performed in 15 years and the band has not met him yet. Matthew McConaughey, Reese Witherspoon, Scarlett Johansson, Taron Egerton, Tori Kelly, and Nick Kroll return to voice their beloved characters in the sequel to the 2016 film. And the added star voices for the sequel include Halsey, Pharrell Williams, Eric Andre, and U2's Bono as Clay Calloway. All right, that's it for this week. But before you go, why not drop down in the comments and let us know what you'll be watching this week. I'm Kale, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>